Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got very dry lips at the moment. I've had like a really bad reaction to um, a lip product that I am currently working on. So that's been fun. So ignore my really bad lips. <laughs> I'm just putting out there at the start so you guys are aware of why they look so bad. Today we are going to be doing an introduction to my finish 22 in 2022. So I'm actually starting this officially on the 1st of January but I'm not uploading a video in January until the end of the month for a project pan video. I try and take like January as like a break and don't really upload in January. I think I did that last year. I'm going to enforce it this year too. Let's get cracking. So what is Finish 22 in 2022? So it's essentially what it says in the title. It is Finish 2022 items within 2022. And it was like a rolling project. So once I finish an item, I'll roll in the next item. And essentially my goal is to finish these items, not pan it, finish it. So firstly, we have got this palette. This is my Revolution London makeup palette. And this is one of my older eyeshadow palettes. Um, I really, really like the shades in here actually. If I show you guys what it looks like. Now the shade I have rolled in is I believe it's called Burgundy Nights and it is this shade right here the there's like two red ones so it's this the red one that's on here and the idea is to completely finish this which will be would be like pretty amazing if I could finish this item within this year next up we've got this this is my Lorac palette you guys are probably well aware of this palette by now it's featured in a few of my projects at this point and the shadow I have rolled in is the seventh shade one two three four five six seven so it is this shade up at the top it's a really good like base shade it's kind of got like an orange tone to it but it's really nice to like use as a transition or a base shade. This is still going to be continuing. I mean, I'm not surprised considering there's 120 eyeshadows in here. It is quite common that this gets rolled into things because there's so many eyeshadows in here. Like, there's a lot of numbers. So, other eyeshadow palette I have rolled in is my Naked Urban Decay wild west palette this is like one of my newest eyeshadow palettes and i've rolled this in i'm not too sure if that's a mistake or not but we're gonna go with it and the shade i have rolled in is called a rustler i have never used it i've not used this shadow yet um but it's this gold shade here oh i think that's gonna be really fun to wear actually and I think it's going to be interesting as well because it's a brand new eyeshadow, never been used. So it'll be interesting to see how many times it will take me to use this all up. I think some of these goals are going to be quite hard to reach. I'm not going to lie. I won't be surprised if some of these items are in here until the end of the year. This is my revolution, Makeup Revolution London. It's come up again. This is what the logo used to look like on my eyeshadow palette, by the way, before it all faded away. And this is my blush palette, and it's called Hot Spice. They don't, these don't have any shade names, but I believe, I think I'm rolling in the fourth shade. I didn't bring across my iPad, which has the number in it but I believe I rolled in the fourth shade so it's this shade up here which is kind of more like a highlighted shade as well because I'm making it a rolling pan I can just roll in products until I hit the 22 mark so I could in theory work on more than 22 products in this project to hit that goal 
so I do think this is one of the items that's going to be in this project throughout the entire year then we have got this this is my Glossier mintbalm.com lip salve for lip uh, like lip balm this is the item and uh, it's quite old actually I've had this for a few years but it's relatively unused but me and my dry lips I can probably get through this quite fast and then finally we have got this this is my nail pen by Barry M and my goal is to finish this saying that um, I think once I get to a certain point I think maybe once I get like just like above where the there's like um there's like some writing at the very bottom down here once I reach the bottom of that I think I'm probably going to mix this with another nail polish which I own so I potentially won't actually finish this right to the bottom but I may finish it to a point where I think it's fine to mix it with the leftovers of another nail polish just to make it a little bit more fun I'm actually really really excited to be working on this funnily enough it's this shade that's on my, my little finger here um, this is one of my older nail polishes and I'm currently trying to get through my nail polishes because I own a lot of them and I'm only one person so um, yeah we shall see how this goes I don't think this is going to take me like a lot because it's not full I did just drop this so it's not gonna show me completely how far it is but I think we're about here-ish so we're not completely at the top we're not like halfway yet but knowing me I think I'm gonna guesstimate it's probably gonna take me like half a year to finish this and I'm not just gonna solely be using this on my nails either because I do own like 90 I uh, no polishes so I'm not going to solely focus on just using this so this is going to take me a while but I do think it will take me like 180 usages and those usages is basically a nail so I don't just do every single time I do I paint my nails like as a collection that's not a usage it's a nail a per nail so but that would be the one time and then if I painted this finger it would be the set two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten times but yeah so I'll need to do it for each finger all the way through 18 times I guess so there we go uh, that is my challenge of course um, I am probably making it a little bit more difficult with myself because I'm still working on my project A to Z but I feel like I'm in a position now where I can uh, work on a different project with, alongside Project A to Z because I've rolled out enough items in that project that it's okay to do this. I think in the beginning months it's going to be probably a little slow and then it'll probably ramp up a little bit more later on in the year once my like other projects calm down a little bit more um obviously it also depends what i roll in in my other projects but saying that at the moment i hope you guys enjoy this new challenge i think i'm gonna make an update every three months and i will record how many usages i've used each month and then we'll tally up at the end of the year how many times it's made me reach a goal or not reach a goal and um, we shall see from there and yeah let's see if i can finish 22 items within this year i'll be very very excited if i can make it um i'm thinking of bringing in different categories as well uh like perfumes and um like skincare hair care things as well just to mix it up so it's not solely just makeup and nail polishes and things so 
yeah we shall see how that goes i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are enjoying christmas we are closing in on the end now so yeah it's been a hectic month but uh good so it's actually quite late right now when i'm filming this so i'm going to uh, go to bed all right that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'm gonna go and i shall see you guys in a couple more days we are closing in towards the end of christmas so i hope you guys have been enjoying and i shall see you guys then bye